Hey everybody, Entech here. Welcome to a brand new game called Voxel Turf. This is a open world type of situation where you have the ability to define what you do in game. The best way to, to describe this is like a mix of Broke Protocol, if you remember that game, and Minecraft because you have building elements and you can like literally build buildings and cities which is freaking awesome. And then there's things like you have the ability to define if you're going to like build like a real estate empire and own all these buildings and amass wealth that way or be abandoned and steal things and fight the police and or take out other bandits and do missions for people. There's a lot of different things that you can do. There's single player, there's multiplayer, there's even Steam Workshop, which is going to probably allow you to have different cities that people have built and import those into the game or different objects and things like that and like one of the mods that I have uh, currently installed is a bigger cities mod which allows you to go into single player and go to like this turf area and then select like these massive maps but here's the thing one it takes forever to load I've, I have played the game like pretty substantially like a lot so I do know a lot about the game already um, but it takes forever to load in and then if you have like a higher resolution set it's really laggy and so in today's video what I thought I would do to give you an idea of what the game has to offer such as helicopters tanks weapons robbing things it's there's a lot that goes into this game uh, we would go into single player and do the tutorial now it's not boring by any mean because you do these different missions and stuff but just so you get an idea of what the game has to offer I thought we would do this so let's go ahead and hop into the game and then you guys can see what the game has to offer and you can let me know what you think of the game definitely comment below tell me what you think if you want to see more I probably plan on doing a couple videos of this hopefully you guys will enjoy it check the link uh, in the description for information about the game and things like that but let's go ahead load up the map and get into the game all right so here we are spawning into the game and you guys can see what it looks like there are buildings there's police officers people cars driving around people walking around on the street there's a bunch of different things you can do in this game and then each one of these buildings that you see like this right here is it this is a randomly generated city you can randomly generate a city if you desire or you can build an entire world from scratch you can do it all yourself and so for those of you guys who really like creation that is in this game and you can definitely do that and then even in the game itself like let's say you randomly generate a city you can go into the game and then build your own base and build your own building in the game and so there's a lot of things that you can do there's even like elevators and you can take elevators to the top floor and then not only that but there is a mass amount of uh weapons and blocks and things that you can get there's like a, look at this balcony view you can see everything see the whole city i mean you can climb to the top of any of these buildings and uh so like this like i said was randomly generated in and so there's hello <laughs> what's up lady so there's a bunch of different things that you can do in this game, and I'm hopefully I didn't wasn't gonna die. I I thought I was for sure gonna die there. Uh, so yeah, so this is the tutorial world that they have built for us. And hopefully, hopefully it becomes day soon. But check this out. So if we go into, I'll kind of just stand on the corner here, and we'll go through things. So this is your menu, and this is your menu, the mission section where you can cash in different missions. Now in the game, which you'll see probably in the second episode, we'll cover it a little bit more in depth. There's a bunch of different missions that you can do for people. So you can like join an anarchist group, or steal vehicles for people, or take out raiders and bandits, or, or like build different buildings and essentially like a mass wealth that way, which we'll cover in this. Uh, in this tutorial here so you guys can see for yourself what it's like and uh, yeah like I said there's a lot that goes into this game it, it's really cool I think you guys are gonna really like this game especially if you played like broke protocol and you like that game um, I think you like this. So there's uh, different blocks that you can make. And if you hit control and then scroll and then right click to rotate, you can place them down and do different things with it. And like I said, there's a bunch of different blocks that I'll show you here in a second. So let me let me show you. We'll cash in this mission. And this is like, so you turn in this mission to make money in, in like actual missions. But I will show you what uh this area is. So here are all the blocks that are in the game. There's a lot of different blocks. And now I'm in like free boat free building mode. So I can like pretty much spawn in whatever I want to do here and we can place down different blocks and stuff. So then there's blocks, there's decals, so you can write things on your room on your house. There's different mechanisms like integrated circuits and cabling and you can do pretty advanced stuff. There's a bunch of different types of weapons which We'll just go ahead and load in like an assault rifle, for example, and we can load in a bunch of uh, assault rifle rounds. We have some weaponry, and then there's also like armor and things like that in here. So lots of different things that are in the game 
Uh, but let's just go ahead and go through this tutorial and you guys can see for yourself what it's like. So we have to hijack a car and we're going to take this to the helicopter location. You can actually run over people too, <laughs> which is pretty gruesome. And when you shoot people, they blow up, which is kind of strange. But uh, yeah, so there's cars that you can, you can steal cars, you can drive cars in this game. There's helicopters in this game, and there's tanks, which is pretty freaking cool. And you'll see all that as we go. Running is a little weird. You can configure it uh, but it's like w w it's like uh, w and then a and d and then so flying helicopters in this game is super simple you just hold space to drive it to fly it upward you can turn it around now i know where to go because i've already done this actually because uh i was going to record this but i realized that my resolution settings were all screwed up and so i uh started recording it and then i realized i was like oh crap it's gonna look it's gonna look all janky so I gotta start this all over again so we you even have uh, like ammo for your for your uh, helicopter if you have your gun equipped because you essentially use your gun but you can actually use it in the helicopter so you have kind of an attack helicopter and as you're piloting or driving a vehicle you can actually take blocks away and stuff like that and so it's a it's a little it's a little weird, but like you could like shoot at people down there on the ground if you want to. Uh, so you can actually have po probably have people in your helicopter as well, and then you can have them shooting and stuff. So let's go ahead and hop out of it. Don't kill me. So I might have to wait. I might wait till it's daytime so we have a little bit better of a time here in the game. All right, so daytime is upon us, and I uh, just wanted to show you this. You can like go into different vi different modes here, and you can see like third person and stuff. So uh, here is the tank that's in game, which is pretty freaking sweet. And we have the ability to use the tank to destroy our targets. Oh, I'm still shooting with my gun. Hold on one second. There we go. That's more like it. And then we can also uh, drive the tank. Oh, double shot. All right, sweet. Let's see if I can do that again. Oh, crap. I hit the ground. Let's try that again. Can I destroy both at one time? What's a... Oh, I'm in different mode, right? I forgot. I was in... I need to change modes. There we go. That's more like it. And then last one. There we go. So you can have tanks and stuff, which is pretty freaking sweet. Which I'm a fan of the tank in the game. I didn't see a tank in the actual game when I was playing earlier though. Weapons tutorial. Go to the weapons range, get the assault rifle, and blow some stuff up. So let's head to the weapons range and uh, you guys can see what it's like. Oh, you've already seen you've already seen the assault rifle, but there are like different mods that you can get. And uh, so you can have like explosive mods and stuff. It's pretty freaking sweet. And then oh, one one cool thing about the game, and actually I think they'll show us in the game. Oh, it's right over here. Where am I going? I forgot it's this close. It's in the same compound. One of the cool things about the game is that uh, you have like the ability to offer like protection on people. And when you so there's like multiple ways of earning income. You can have like buildings that you own. You can do missions for people, or you can like steal things and stuff like that, or you can uh, actually uh, have like different. Uh, what's what am I what am I trying to say? Like different resources essentially, where you can get various um, types of uh, buildings producing different things, and so there's a lot that goes into the game, and it's in like I said, it's really cool. If you can't tell, I've said it like 50 million times. Okay, so let's go in our inventory here, and we have our assault rifle, and here are the mods. And we can equip these mods to the weapon, and then we can use them to, uh, like, we've got, like, a scoped one, and then, like, an, I think an explosive one, I think, as well. And so, like, you can do, like, all kind. I mean, like, increased damage and things. It's, it's pretty cool. And then when you think that there's going to be multiplayer... Like, the fact that there's multiplayer and having to worry about people running around doing things like this is uh, is even more uh, exciting to think about. So, let's uh, load up our... Okay, here's our shotgun. Got our shotgun. We got our ammo. And the only thing I don't like is the fact that you can't shift-click from your inventory like this. You have to kind of click and drag, which is kind of annoying. Got our scope mod and our explosive mod. Okay, so we have... a. Uh, our shotgun and we can blow up these hair these hay targets right here but check this out there's a building oh crap of course i missed there's a building right here that has these explosive barrels uh crates in it and you can actually 
shoot these and blow up so you can like buy these crates and then probably put them down like by somebody's base and destroy it oh yeah the other cool thing is that so people can build bases but uh your base can be destroyed and but if you you can insure your base so that if it does get destroyed you can just pay a little tiny fee and have your building repaired so you don't lose everything and then what you'll see here in uh coming up is the fact that you can actually uh hire people to defend your base which is pretty cool and like it just increases like you you it costs you money every time like a payout all the time so you have to constantly be either having property that you've built or doing missions to make money so then you can also shop in this game and buy different things which we'll go take a look at uh right now so you guys can see for yourself all the different things that you can get in the game because there's you kind of saw it when i did like the tab thing but you'll see there's a uh, there's even more to to uh the various things in game so in game when you go into game There'll be people with like icons above their head and uh, they kind of represent like the the mission that you have to do And so there's like a bunch of blocks and stuff. Here's all the blocks that you can get in game um, Which you've already seen but like it shows you everything like bookshelf items and stuff Whereas you know, I can look at this as well in the uh, inventory area, but you have to uh, you have to kind of uh, See you have to kind of go into it to see everything so Let's go over to the next place, which is a gun store. What? Well, well, one of them is a gun store. And there's all kinds of different guns that you can get as well. And the gun stores are guarded by by police officers. So you can't just, uh, like, steal something or, you know, try to get whatever you want. Like, you, you actually have uh, to worry about people shooting at you. Buy. Okay, so here are the guns. There's a, the assault rifle. You've seen the shotgun, SMG. And then there's also... Uh, rocket launchers like quad rocket launcher you can get so you can buy like a quad I don't know why I just bought a bunch of those I have infinite ammo right now and then the different mods and stuff you can get extra shot mods things like that which he doesn't have any of those um, but yeah so there's a lot of different things that you can do in the game okay so let's get out of here and then we can you guys can see okay here's here's the ro the quad rocket launcher so you can actually blow up buildings and stuff and do all kinds of damage you can destroy vehicles oh we missed him anyway you can destroy vehicles too there's just like it's kind of an open world type of freeform thing which is really cool okay where's the guy at um hello i need to buy something oh he's outside back dude this is the general store cheap cheap items and then there is also the jewelry store which i'm assuming we can probably rob this yeah so jewels that we find which you can probably get from uh bandits and stuff like that materials and sawmills there's like you can you can make all these things essentially and so it just depends on how much money you have to invest and some things take tons of money like a ridiculous amount of money okay so this is going to show you how to build build a establish a base and then build various uh types of buildings so there's a this is a little complicated and if you're new to the game and you haven't like actually um looked around at the various things you're probably gonna like miss this and so it, it's important to uh to kind of make sure you're paying attention to this so when you go to the vacant area you can hit m on your map and any area that's open you can put a base on so it doesn't have to you, you know it's not predetermined so you convert it to a base and then this is the area that you spawn in and then this area you can use and you can build your own base on so you'll find in game you can't just like build wherever you want you have to kind of build around your base and then this is what i was talking about earlier that you can actually um, pay to fortify your base. So here's your fortification level. You can see I'm paying 50 bucks to have this base right now. And each time I increase it, it costs me more and more and more money. Uh, and then this is your insurance slot where you can reinsure this area. And if it gets destroyed, then you pay money to uh, do it. And then you have different, you'll have guards that will spawn and kind of uh, protect your base. And so that's what the fortification does. Now, in terms of building other buildings, so if you want to earn income, you can buy the different lots and then put something on them. But in order to put something on them, oh, I was in the right spot, you have to zone it. 
And so you want to zone for industry, zone for a factory, You want to, and then you can place it down on a lot. So we're going to put factory on lot 3. And then on lot 4, we're going to, we're going to zone that for a housing uh, area, and we're going to place that down right here. And then so now I, I am getting income from having these buildings here. And so if we go back into here, let's uh, check out a different a plot here and uh, can show you that. Do they, I don't know if they show you the right amount. So here you can see 37000 to buy this house. And when you rent it, somebody rents it, it, call, it, it pays you 125 And the thing is that this money is not easy to get in game. So you have to invest quite a while worth of time in this game to actually do things which will hop into like the actual gameplay in the next video. So definitely be looking out for that. But then, uh, oh, what was I going to show you? There was something else I was going to show you that had to do with the buildings. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't show you here, but you can see like this zoned area right here. Um, let's see. You see like this, this, when I click on this base, you can see this area on the outskirts here. This is like my area I could like control essentially. And so there's quite there's quite a lot that kind of goes into it, but essentially, let's see. Oh yeah, we'll do this next. You can like if you have a if you have a base like right here, if there's a building nearby, you can actually um protect that building and get money from them for protecting the building. All right, so the next mission is to go to a bandit hideout and capture the base at the Bannon hideout. Now to do this, um, this is a little bit more in depth, but uh, essentially what you have to do is you have to go to the base, kill the bandits, and then you can uh, capture the base and then it's like yours essentially. So let's steal this car. And luckily there was no cops nearby. If there's a cop nearby, they'll come after you and you'll get, you can get arrested and uh, get charged money if you die or whatever, or get arrested. And so you don't want to get arrested and you don't want to steal a car right in front of, right in front of uh, some cops. So is this the bandit hideout right here? Wait, that's the bandit hideout? I think it's, wait, did it move? Oh, it did move. So in the other tutorial, it was in a different place. So this is the bandit hideout. And, uh, I don't know if they're, are there, where are they? They're inside. What? This is like an abandoned base. Is there, they've got to be in there. They've got to be in there. So let's see if we can blast our way in. Let's see if this works. I know it's super dark. I don't like how dark it is either. Okay. Are they in there? Oh yeah, they're in here. They just had the place walled off. Oh! And you can die. If you take enough damage, you'll die. Now you have to be in the base or they'll respawn. I can't see where this dude is, man. Oh, I got a, I got a health pack. I've actually never used one of those before. Yeah, so once you're in the base. Oh, oh, dude, get wrecked, man. I died! Crap! So that sucked because now I just lost some stuff. I don't like how dark it is, man. So you gotta respawn at your base or a public spawn location. So I'm gonna wait till day and do this again because I couldn't even see where they were in there. So I wanted to show you this. The police AI in this game are actually really intense. And so I just car carjacked a, a car with the police being right here by me. And so they will just hunt you down. But the thing is, so you can see there it starts saying get get it under arrest. They, they, they will come out, but sometimes they don't come out after you. And so all you only have to do is run away and you will eventually evade them and uh, be free. So you can see I have like a star rating there of how like wanted I am you have a wanted rating like you do in GTA and so eventually that'll go away and then you'll be free so right there you see I am free so we're gonna, I'm gonna wait till daytime and then uh, I'll be back 
All right, here we go. Daytime is upon us, so let's roll into this freaking base and try to wreck some people. They're already shooting at me, I think. Or they're shooting at somebody. I think there's a guy right there. Hello! I'm coming in! Oh, we just headshotted that guy. So you can get, like, charged with, like, reckless weapon firing and stuff. So, oh, there's, like, a, there's, like, their safe room. Yeah, boys! Oh, crap. Yeah! Oh, I'll show you the level up thing, too, here in a second as well. So you gotta be inside the base or they'll, uh, respawn. There we go. So now you can see we're attacking the base. And, uh, that means that we'll start, uh, being able to actually capture it here. Now, the only thing is, I don't know if there's a way to... Base captured. Okay, so we captured the base. Now I want to buy, uh, let me see something. I want to buy one of these. Actually, I don't need to do that anymore because we're almost done with the tutorial. But I, I, I'm in, I am curious to know something. If I throw a grenade right here, I wonder will it, no, oh, that did not go where I wanted it to go. I want to know if there, if there's anything in this chest and if there is, nope. I can't get anything out of it. Okay, so we captured the base. We've completed that mission, and now this base belongs to us. And then the last thing is this protection bracket. So if we go here to our map, and we uh, so this is a little the map's a little wonky sometimes. You gotta click and drag. So wh where's my base at? Um, my base is right right here. Yeah, this is my base. So if I go no. Where's my base? Yeah, this is my base, isn't it? No, there's a lot somewhere with... Oh, right here it is. Okay, I was like, where the heck's my base at? I know it's a flag. Where is it? So this this area is uh, like kind of my area of influence. So I can click on this area right here on a building. And you can see this right here, offer protection. This building gives $200 hourly income. So this allows you to collect some income from the lot under the guise of protecting them. This costs reputation to do it. So you need reputation in order to do this. And up here in the corner, you can see I have reputation. And you get that by helping people out and stuff. This building offers $60. This building offers 66 So there's certain buildings that will pay you way more money to uh, protect it. $300. And then there's like even homes and things like that you can protect. So if I come down here, protect this house, protect this, this, uh, whatever this industrial lot is, I will now get uh, money per hour. So like my income. So that's pretty much all there is to the game. Uh, there's a, there's other things involved too with like factioning and doing missions. But uh, you'll see that as we uh, play like the other, like the actual game. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Subscribe if you guys are new and you haven't already. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Check this game out. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, just being able to build and do different things in the game I think is going to be something that a lot of people like. So thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.